Okay, in this particular video, we're looking at two shapes which are mathematically similar. And we're being told that uh, the linear dimension along here is 16 and the linear dimension along here is 32. So actually, it's kind of twice as big. Um, and we're told that this will take 1.2 litres and they want us to calculate the literage of this. Well, it's not twice the amount. You've got to be a little bit careful with that. So let's just have a look at this. What we're saying is, is that um, shape B, which is 32, equals a constant times 16. And this constant, you and I know, is 2. It's twice the length. So therefore, mathematically, we would write that as K equals 32 over 16, so therefore k equals 2. So in other words, the linear relationship between the two boxes is 2. That's the value of k linearly. OK, now when you're looking at uh, mathematically similar shapes, you have to remember that k on its own is the linear relationship. Um, if it's an area relationship, it's k squared. And if it's a volume relationship, it's k cubed. Now, in this particular case, we're looking at uh, liters, which is a volume relationship. So what we're saying is, is that the volume of the large uh, case here is going to be um, k multiplied by 1.2 liters. Uh, 1.2 litres for the original shape, but remember that it's K cubed, it's a volume relationship. So what that allows us now to do is to plug these values into the calculator and I've got 2 cubed times 1.2 and when I pop that into a calculator I'm going to get 9.6 litres and that's the volume of shape B. OK, so just be a little bit careful with this. Once you've got the value of K, either through working out a linear relationship, an area relationship, or a volume relationship, once you've got the value of K, be very careful to put it in in the correct format when you're working out the actual calculation. Um, I hope that's been OK for you. Please do add a comment below, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.